And speaking of the kitchen, we are in the kitchen with Chef Allison from Peak Performance Catering. And I, this looks amazing. What are you making for us? Well, first we're going to start over here with our deconstructed Greek salad. I love it. So that. I'm doing um, something that's easy um, that to take to a party. Uh, we work a lot with athletes, so um, this yeah, is something like that, yes, yeah. <laughs> yes, very athletic. No, so um, I'm going to show you, we're going to skewer. I've got some fun different skewers here, and I've got some heirloom tomatoes, cucumbers, some olives. This is a country mix of olives, feta, of course, mm. and some artichokes. And the great thing about this and what I love about cooking is that you can be creative and yeah. do your own thing. So if you like beets, put beets on your skewer. Mm. Um, if you like other vegetables, just get creative. But I have the heirloom tomatoes, and I'm lo I love color. Mm -hmm. So you guys are going to help me with this. I've got, we start with a tomato as an anchor. We do a piece of cucumber, uh, olives. olives. Look at this hunk of feta. Yeah, I've it. already um, dressed this with our dressing. Uh -huh. Here's I was going to ask how the dressing would factor in because we want that Greek salad flavor. Right, so we've got some oregano is actually the dominant um, herb here that gives it kind of that Greek flavor. Mm -hmm. I've also got some thyme, some basil, some parsley, and I've already marinated a little bit of our um, the feta and the artichokes here. Okay. Um, we don't want too much dressing because then it gets a little messy. Sure. So we can get started. Is there anything yes. we would do wrong? Can we make mistakes? No, you can there make no it. Mistakes. You know, we well, when I went, one of my staff has to follow exactly as oh, I'm doing. Right. So, <laughs> you know, but you can do as you want. So let me just finish this um, for you. And um, just so you know, you want to use the tomato as the anchor, and that kind of holds Ooh, it all together. Perfect. Okay, perfect. so right. there That's you healthy. go. So Mickey and I will get started. Yeah. And I know you have another um, have wonderful appetizer skewers. idea with Aha. the Lindas. Yes, so we've got hummus. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna have we have to start with chickpeas, going right in the Cuisinart, yeah. and then tahini, which okay. makes it the hummus. You're gonna pour, yeah, use your good job, Linda. Thank you. And we love simple ingredients. And also, so I made a regular hummus, but again, you can have fun. You can make it um, with red pepper, which we're gonna do. So mm. you're gonna put a piece of red pepper All in right. there. All right, and then Linda, we have some olive oil. The olive oil, just yep. Put drizzle that it. all of that in there. All of it. Yeah. Oh. Okay, it's about a quarter of a cup there. Mm. Okay. And then we have some cumin. How much of this? So you're gonna put about a teaspoon of cumin. Just put oh, a that's punch. That's a of, half a teaspoon. Yeah. That's oh, another good. half. Cumin's yeah. supposed okay. to be good to fight colds. I, I recently yeah. read How much turmeric, and then that's mm -hmm. salt and white pepper, so a couple pinches of that. One pinch? So what I did was my chickpeas overnight, and then we cooked them. But if you want to buy the can, just make sure that you drain it good. Do not use the liquid from the <laughs> can. <laughs> okay, three. so th you got three. All right, so. You said not the liquid from the can, too well, much sodium? Well, because it's or? got a lot of, um, you know, stuff uh, we don't want. Yeah, Bean and it, it makes it more gassy. <laughs> oh, honestly, oh, okay. you want a gas-free yeah. uh, hummus that's good to know, already. If, if hummus causes you problems, it's good to know it could be from that. So right, we're gonna drizzle the water in there till we get going. See oh, how it's, it's gonna start moving? There yes. we go. So okay. now we kind of let it go. We want it like really. I let it go till it's smooth. Okay. Uh -huh. I might stop it and then um, just kind of use the spatula to mix it all around. Oh, okay. How are you guys doing on your skewers over We're here? We're doing amazing. I, I have broken a few colorful. pieces of feta. Oh, did you I know, break? I okay, we're well, eating our mistakes. So. Manhandling the feta. A little well, that's scratch. the fun part about it. Yeah. So you kind of have to be careful when you're skewering. You don't want to kind of make things break apart. That's so why yeah, just take your time. Bigger chunks of feta, it looks but like. But again, with the hummus, see, we're making red pepper. Now, in the ones that I made, I just put red pepper in the middle. But um, I think you look really good right yes, there. Yes, the Lindas are just doing fantastic. Let it go. Well, what I'm I do is I just stop it a little to kind of make sure it's getting all... Allison, as they it. continue their uh, their taste test, the Lindas are doing fabulous with their hummus. Mickey and I are trudging along with mm -hmm. our... our um, Kebabs, but uh, Allison from Peak Performance Catering, she feeds the oh, athletes. Yummy. How perfect. Great ideas for Super Bowl. Yes. Also for any other parties you're having through. I know Oscars are coming up at the end of the month. And you can put hummus in a wrap. So you oh, can make hummus a healthy for a wrap. wrap. Great That's idea. That's what we do with our Speaking athletes. Speaking of Super Bowl, we are going to be looking at our favorite commercials, the hits and the misses, Monday at 4 p.m., so don't forget to join us. Mickey, thank you for being here, thank bringing you. great thank stuff. You. And Linda Larson. It's great to have you. Great to have you and John. So you'll want to check them out February 14th at the Players Center. And don't you forget, take some time. Enjoy the Suncoast view.